Welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda, episode 13, part 3. Now let's dig around down here a wee bit before we go anywhere in particular. Mostly to explore, to be honest. Glad you were coming. I prepared a date pattern our laws regarding war. Learn them. Rapid transit. There. A bit lazy, what can I say? Your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Okay. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it. Page one of oh, all well, no. Is that it? I was expecting a quiz and a reward. Okay, let's see. Plus we gotta see what the walking disaster has to show us. And the mood to censor shit, plus there was only really one negative one.
Okay, let's see where Shrek is. Up here. Gotta love them glitches. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? <laughs> What's your poison? Apsha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just. This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. It didn't occur to you there'd be indigenous species here? Sentients with a rich history, leading full lives? I guess. Even so, the Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. That's awfully understanding of you, Ryder. You're a good... egg. I think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. <sighs> Plaster this a bloody chimp almost and markedly less appealing. Come on. Man, they're interesting. Well, at least one of the, one of the more competent writers at Bioware wrote some of this stuff, at the very least.
Yeah, it may sound harsh, but then again, we have a rock liquor on our damn ship. kind of funny considering our recent revelation if you don't know which one I mean in case you jumped in at part 3 of a damn episode go check in the previous one something rather interesting happened and heck even episode 1 had interesting stuff well episode 1 part 1 of episode 13 hmm Interesting. Anything else? Something potentially there. Tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies. Navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are. Strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Voneron. A Voneron? That's very... I don't know what. Ah, linguistics, not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but... Nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Nice. This one goes first. And now we get to, well actually, get to explore. Oh come on, I can't jump a railing. Granted it wouldn't have been fun, but I want to jump it. I forgot something. Well, when I come back, when I get there, uh, General. What the? Director Tan, good news. The Angar opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. 
appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. I'm going to shoot that guy in the testicles someday, if he has any. Mm. Alright. Always rewards. Get fusion armor. Alright, we can rarely get some of that. Falcon being the grenade thrower. Let's actually check real quick. Huh. Kind of interesting looking, but um, Wait. Okay, so here. If they're not my style, I'm not going to use them. So many different kinds of helmets. Hmm. Okay, and let's just check this. Oh. Mm -hmm. This one just looks retarded to be honest. Okay, we can safely deconstruct these. Uh, I like my naming scheme. Yeah, this thing. Needs to go. Those we need to sell. Sell and sell. Let's just do it right in that. I'm gonna test that out just out of curiosity, really. These things should be set up via the categories, not 
Well, in nearly. Mm. Yeah, no, very, very thrilling, but needs to get done prevents shit from getting way too stupid which reminds me I haven't upgraded that thing in a long ass time oh boy First and foremost. We need these all, so we're not touching that. Oh, I'm so bloody well tempted, but I need uranium. This we can craft quite easily, but I don't like the lights. <whistles> Lots of lithium needed for that. Okay, weapons, Valkyrie is nearly full, but what I want right now is this thing upgrade another notch. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Okay, that's us done with that, and now we get to actual bloody explorer anomaly detected what probes launched anomaly found uh-huh so they're in this system Well, I can go down and grab the food after I get this guy's satellites. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. I wonder if somebody's stealing their shit. And Kadara is where we can continue Drax's story. And I suspect Vetra will have something to do there too. I'm gonna have to head back to Aya though. That'll probably be in the next episode. Detected. 
getting a scan. You're sure that astronomer's nav points are correct? He seemed to think so. There's nothing out here. The Scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. You can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. This might unlock the... the... More SAR systems for us to explore, which is quite important, I'd imagine. Is it just me or is the warp tunnel getting weird? Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Convoy? This be getting weird, man. Let me guess. No Wingaran satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Angaran ship. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. Oh yes, I'm sure it's gonna be a... That don't make no sense. Lost Scourge. What was it? Shipwreck? Stand by. I'm cutting through heavy interference from the Scourge. We are pretty close for comfort. Something's drifting just inside. And Garn ship. In pieces. No life signs. Who did this? Cat? I found the ship's log. Scanning and downloading. Scavengers. The Angara caught them stealing satellites. The scavs fought back. And the Angara collided with the Scourge. Can we find the scavengers? I have their ship's transponder ID. It's registered out of Kadara port. Okay. But first and foremost, let's get those damn plants. Where was it? Oh, ah, yeah. <sighs> Why would they send such a small ship, though? Don't the Angarans have anything bigger? Or did the developers didn't have a budget to design more than one Angaran ship? I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Let's grab the food and then call it for this episode. Eh, poop. This part. This episode will have four parts, unlike I believe the previous one which had only two. I need me snacks, man.
Where can I get food though? Uh huh. You give food, yes. Nachos, tequila, yeah. I don't know why wanted to sound like a uh, Mexican German, but yeah. I'm not selling to Alien. Hey, Alexi, I tracked down some samples of the Angaran antiseptic you were talking about. The Angar and Antiseptic? Oh, Damar. That's the name, isn't it? Something like that. Can't wait to test its applications. Thank you very much, Petra. Anything for the woman. I feel so out of place here. People keep staring at me. I can't tell if they're fascinated or afraid. <laughs> Maybe they've all got huge crushes on you. <laughs> Ryder, that's a little far-fetched. I don't think so. Everyone wants a spiky girlfriend. <laughs> sure, Ryder. Smooth, like a brick in the face. Vestoran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo, sweet with a little bite. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. Something I can do for you? I'll get moving. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I can do that. Good to hear. Hmm. Should I just feed them some incendiary ammunition? Ooh. Yes. Okay, that rock liquor should be happy now. Should be in the operative world. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna call it right here now, ladies and gentlemen, because it is 35 minutes more or less. Thank you for watching, and join me in a few.